This is my second purchase, y'all. I did not know they had a new fragrance. Five star rating from me. It's kind of like Pinterest and Instagram had a baby. Welcome back, girl. Let's talk about some favorites. Let's talk about some things I have been loving and obsessed with for the month of March. I think March is gonna be over with by the time this video goes up. I don't know, but um, I've been dipping into fewer products this past month. And there's no particular reason. I just feel like I haven't really been like trying out new beauty products, but the ones that I have been trying out, I wanna update you guys on and also have a couple of things that um, I'm gonna be trying out for the month of April. I don't think I've ever done this where I shared like a couple of products, like one or two products in a favorites video that I wanna start trying out for the upcoming month. So I'm gonna start doing that. Cause I mean, y'all know I always get packages like from brands, I'll always be shopping. And I feel like it's really important to at least show y'all the things that I'm testing out and then give y'all an update later on. I feel like I do that anyway. I don't know girl, I'm just talking. But I do know I have just a few things that um, I got from Amazon that I'm gonna be trying out uh, actually this week. And, and I'll tell y'all what it is and the reason why I'm gonna be trying out this week. Um, and then I also just have a few things that I wanna update you guys on that I've already talked about. And just maybe one or two new beauty products that I've been trying out. So yeah girl, get you a snack. Oh my gosh, when is the last time I said that? What did I used to say? Get com grab a snack, get comfortable. That's what it is. So go ahead, grab a snack, get comfortable. Y'all remember what I be saying. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that was my thing. That was my thing I always said in the beginning of my videos. So go ahead, get comfortable, grab a snack, and let's get into it. Yes, that's what it was. Oh, I do know what I wanna talk about first. Y'all remember those frames that I shared in my last favorites video? It was the Louis Vuitton blue light frames. I found a dupe or like a cheaper alternative for those. So if you don't watch my YouTube shorts, I already uploaded the little one minute um, video on it. But if you don't watch that, I found the dupe. If you've been wanting those frames, but don't want to spend that much money on it. These are literally first, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put the real ones on so y'all can see them first if you haven't seen them. So these are the Louis Vuitton blue light frames. First off, how cute are these? These are just the cutest. <laughs> but yeah, these are the real deals, and it has like a little charm right here. Now let me show you the affordable alternative ones because y'all are about to go crazy over these because they are literally just like the Louis Vuitton. Girl, look, look. Now I would say the only difference between these and the Louis Vuittons is this one does not have a little charm and it also doesn't have like the little, um, studs right here like the ones from Louis Vuitton. So see how these have that little stud in the front right there and right there on each side. And then you have the um, charm right there. But if you don't like that or if you don't want to spend that much money on them, get these. And they were on Prime Girl. They have other colors. They had black, gray, rose gold, and another color too. But I personally like the gold. They're so cute, it's so cute. So yeah, I was on the hunt for these, okay? On the hunt for an affordable alternative for you guys and I finally found them and I'm so glad that I did. So yeah, I just wanna update y'all on that because I know some of you were going crazy over the Louis Vuitton blue light frames. Um, okay, let's talk about a few things that I have tried out in March and it's just maybe like two or three products. Um, and then a product I wanna update you guys on. Ooh, I have a new skincare product I haven't shared with you guys. It's the new Fenty Skin Melt Off Jelly Oil Makeup Remover. So they sent this to me in PR before it was available to purchase online and I love the packaging of this. The packaging alone gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Like you press the top right here and when you press it, Oh my gosh, I don't wanna make a mess, but when you press it, the product comes out. Let me close it before it drips everywhere. But how cool is that? But other than the packaging, this is actually a really good product. It takes literally every single drop of oil, makeup, anything you have on your face, even if you don't have makeup on, if you just wanna put this on and then wash your face after, um, cause I know a lot of you like to double cleanse like myself, um, but this will melt off the oils, just every, 
inch of dirt and product on the face. And it's so, so, so fast. Like you don't have to put any more, just put a little bit in your hand, rub it all over your face, rinse it off. Everything is off the face, girl, everything. You would think you wouldn't have to go in with another cleanser, but I highly recommend that you do because double cleansing is like very important, especially if you wanna make sure that your face is really clean. But this will clean your skin. It's not gonna like clean it all the way because I mean, it's just a makeup remover, but um, it's really good, really good. I've been enjoying it and I like it so much that I'm actually gonna be purchasing it during the Sephora sale. Now, as far as skincare, I've been really sticking to this one from Strivectin. Well, these two from Strivectin. This is the moisturizer. This has vitamin C in it and it also has SPF. And then this one is the serum. It's a retinol serum. These have really helped the texture in my skin. I've been experiencing um, a few breakouts here and there. And um, this is also a good SPF too. So if you want something that's not gonna give you a white cast, this is really good. And it wears really good under the makeup. This is what I have on today, like my skincare. This is these two products right here. Um, but yeah, really been enjoying this moisturizer. It's very thick, but once you rub it on the skin, it literally just melts into the skin and it just gives you the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful glow. And it kind of has that citrusy scent. Smells really good and just like clean. And then the serum, this is what I was using um, at night. But I started using it in the morning time instead because I use something else at night. So this and then putting, um, making sure to put my SPF on top. I just feel like these two together are just like a match made in heaven. And I feel like that's with any like skincare products. Like if you use the same products in the brand, it just goes. Like the skin just be skinning. So uh, yeah, but I have been really enjoying those two products from Strivectin. I also wanna mention sometimes when I use a retinol, my skin can either get dry or it can just be really sensitive. But this does not do any of that. Like this just keeps my skin glowy. It keeps it hydrated. It's just a really nice gentle retinol that I just absolutely love. I think I kind of like this one more than I do um, the one from, what is that brand I was using before that? Urban Skin RX. Yeah, I think I like this one more than the other retinol that I was using because it's more gentle and it just makes the skin look so healthy. So yeah. Um, oh, the... Uh, po <laughs> Polish Choice Niacin My 20% Treatment. So this is something I'm still testing out, but so far so good. I remember sharing this with you guys and I just, you know, y'all know I like to come on here and update you guys on the products I'm trying out. So far so good. So some days I'll use this, some days I'll use this, um, but I've been enjoying this. Um, haven't really had any type of reaction from trying the products out. The only thing I have noticed is just my skin looking more healthy, more glowy, and just more radiant overall. So uh, that's actually all the skincare products I have to share that I've been trying out for the month. Now let me talk about a body product, a body care product that I know I shared with you guys in a vlog, but not all of you watch my vlogs. This is the Maylee's, doo -doo 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 -doo, yeah, Maylee's Body Cream. This is very similar. It's not the same though, but it's almost just as good as the Fenty Skin Body Butter. Only thing I don't like about this body cream is the color. So it's pink, y'all know I love pink, but I don't like that this is pink because this does kind of bleed on white clothes. Um, and I don't know why they made this body cream this color. If it was white, this will be like five star rating from me. But um, yeah, the moisture from this is very, very close to um, the moisture that I get from the Fenty Skin Body Butter, but it's not as thick as the Fenty Skin, but this stuff is really, really, really good on my skin. So I put this on immediately after I take a shower and I don't know, I just feel like I'm just, my skin just feels so soft all day and all night long. So yeah, that, like I said, the only thing I would change about it is the color of it. Cause um, I would put this on my hands and then like later on throughout the day, if I wash my hands, the water is a little pink. And I have a pair of gray pajamas. They're like almost white. This is like a really light heather gray um, pajama set. The next morning I woke up when I took the pajamas off, I could see like inside the pajamas. It was kind of like, it was, it was barely there, but it was there. I could tell that this, faded the pajamas, but it was just a little bit. It wasn't anything like super duper noticeable, but I could see it. But anyway, other than the 
color of the product, I love the product itself on my skin. So I definitely had to um, highlight that for you guys because it's really good. And I think that's from Ulta. They sent that to me in PR, but I think you can get that from Ulta. I think Ulta sells the Maylees um, products. Girl, I can't believe I only have four products, four makeup products in front of me. Three of them are lip products, one of them <laughs> is a skin tint. Um, so the Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow. I've already filmed a video on this. I did like a first impression in that video. But in that video, I told you guys I was gonna be trying it out some more and update you guys in a later video. So that is what I'm here to do today. After wearing this for an entire day, I can confidently say this is very, very, very similar to the Fenty skin what is the fenty skin tinted skin drop dew drop the fenty skin when y'all know which one i'm talking about it is very 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 similar i have not had a chance to put this on one side and then the fenty on the other side just to see um if they're like identical but the way this lasts on my skin and the way it looks on my skin for an entire day fenty very similar to Fenty. So um, I would say still try it out if you are wanting to try out the one from Too Faced, but if you already have the one from Fenty, I feel like you're not really gonna be, um, you're not really missing anything. Um, but this is just as good as Fenty. And the only thing I would say that's way different than Fenty is this one has SPF, Fenty does not. So if you're wanting a new skin tint, that's very similar to Fenty that has SPF in it. This one right here, this is it. Just go ahead and add it to the cart. Um, I use the shade Chai. If you missed the video, I will try to remember to have it linked on the um, in the description or have it pop up at the top of the page, um, at the top of this video. But yeah, very beautiful on the skin. It lasts on me throughout the entire day. I do get a little oily on my T-zone. I mean, that's natural, but um, beautiful. It's not streaky, it doesn't separate, it just looks so beautiful and natural on the skin. And this is also a product that you can build up if you want. I know in the video where I did the um, first impression, I didn't build it up, but I will honestly say I like this more when I don't build it up. Because when I build it up, <laughs> girl, when I build it up, it just feels, it looks like I have on just a full coverage foundation and it doesn't last as long as it does when I just put on one layer. Um, so yeah, just wanted to update y'all on that. And then the lip products that I have, <laughs> I just have three, um, but Makeup by Mario has these new lip products. They're the new lip gloss, plumping lip color, girl. First off, these are nothing like the NYX Butter Glosses. I know some people are comparing these or um, from what I've seen in like the comments under my TikTok or the comments under um, my YouTube short because I did a YouTube short on these. They're nothing like the NYX Butter Glosses because um, some people were asking if, um, you know, they are comparable to the NYX Butter Gloss. Color-wise, yes. I feel like NYX has a few shades that are just like the ones from Makeup by Mario. But texture-wise, absolutely not these are glossy but super duper 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 thin like really thin i know i already have something on the lips but i'm still gonna put some on um let me put the lighter one on this is in the shade soft nude and let's do some swatches too so soft nude gorgeous beige nude and then I have caramel. Y'all, it was kind of hard to pick the shade, like the shades that I wanted because I honestly wanted all of them when I went in Sephora. But I picked the ones that I know I would wear the most. Um, and that's what caramel looks like. But yeah, the texture is so thin. And there's like a slight, like when I say slight, I mean slight um, cooling sensation. It's nothing over the top. I'm gonna put some on the center. Look how pigmented and glossy that is but yeah really thin texture but glossy i love it i'm gonna put um some of the caramel on too because why not i'm gonna put caramel around the edge Mm-hmm. yep love i kind of want to now that i know 
that I love these. <laughs> I think I want to go back and get the pink one. There's a pink one. It's like a bare, I think it's called barely pink. It's a your lips, but better color. But I've been wearing these enough to where I can go and get another shade because I know I would wear that shade. Um, these haven't been just sitting on the shelf or in my drawer collecting dust. These have been getting a lot of use. So I really don't feel bad with getting another um, color. I'm actually gonna wait until the Sephora sale to get another color. Um, but okay, this next product, this is what I keep in my purse. This is the Dior lipstick in the shade 001 Pure Nude, I believe, or is it something nude, but it's 001. This is a everyday throw on the lip, no makeup, but if you do have makeup on type of lip, like you don't even need a mirror with this. This is such a beautiful natural pink. I'm gonna swatch it in the, um, the texture formula of this product, bomb. This is my second purchase y'all. Not the shade, but the lipstick itself. Because when I first got it, um, I got the other one in a different shade. But when I put it on my lips, I was like, yes, I need another one of these, but in a shade that I can just throw on my lips on days when I don't have makeup on, or even when I do have makeup on and I want something just very natural and pretty and just cutesy and all the things. But yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect shade. I went ahead and um, switched the case because the other case that I had was black. Um, so I put the other shade with the black case and then I put this one in the pink case. So yeah, love the lipstick, love the formula, love the color, absolutely love it. Um, oh, I have another lip product. I thought I only had those three, but this, this is what you guys saw me in before putting on the Makeup by Mario lip product. Girl, I don't know what they put in this product. This is the About Face um, Lip Color Butter in the shade Pink, but girl, if you've ever tried the Makeup by Mario lipstick, Y'all know those are very, very, very soft and glossy. That is exactly how this is. Super soft, super glossy. You have to be really careful on the lips. So don't, you know, bear down too hard. But girl, the color is gorgeous. And oh, look at the pigment. So pretty. And it smells just like a Jolly Rancher, y'all. <laughs> it smells so, so, so good. But yeah, I've been loving this. This is another product that I would um, keep in my purse. But yeah, love, love, love. So if you're looking for a really pretty pink, glossy lip color, this is good. And the one from Dior is really good too. Now let's talk about some fragrances. I have two new fragrances that have entered the collection. This one is the Kaoli Yum Pistachio Gelato. Okay. This is one that you either love or hate. Like I feel like there's no in between at all. So this one has notes of marshmallow. It has notes of cotton candy, hazelnut. Um, oh, I was doing good. I wasn't even looking on the back of this. Hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow and cotton candy. I already said those three. But yeah, if you love sweet dessert, marshmallowy, cotton candy, <laughs> type of sense, I think you will like this. Um, but like I said, it's either you love it or you hate it. I feel like there's definitely not an in-between because this is a very different type of marshmallow cotton candy scent. Like it's very different, very unique, but the dry down is perfection. And that's when I like it the most. I don't really care for it when I first spray it, but when it dries down on my skin, oh, my gosh, I was in Barnes and Noble the other week. I was sitting at the table just editing a reels and I was editing the reel of me um, using this product. A lady walked by me and she was like, what do you have on? And I told her it was the new Kayali Young Pistachio Gelato. And in my head, I was like, that is such a coincidence because I'm currently editing <laughs> the reel on my scent of the day, which was this. But yeah, this is a very different, unique scent. Very pretty, very warm and sweet and cozy. And just all the, oh, it smells so good. But yeah, try it out if um, if your Sephora has it in store. I'd say go in there, try it for yourself. Um, if you don't really like how it smells when you first spray it, at least smell it throughout the day and see how you like it because like I said, you either love it or you hate it. There's no in between, at least that's how I feel. Um, but yeah, the Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato, 
bomb. Love it. And y'all, Ellis Brooklyn, I did not know they had a new fragrance. And I know some of you remember my obsession with Ellis Brooklyn Fable. I still love it to this day, but I did not know that they came out with a new fragrance until they showed up at my door. They sent this in PR. The prettiest spring floral scent. Oh my gosh, y'all. I honestly feel like they can't go wrong. Like I've smelled other fragrances from Ellis Brooklyn and I haven't come across one that just doesn't smell good at all. Like I feel like there are a few I haven't smelled yet, but the ones I've smelled, they're a hit. So yeah, really pretty and girly and fresh. It smells so freaking good, you guys. Um, this doesn't have the notes on the back, but when I wear this, it kind of reminds me of the, um, I might be way off when I say this, but I feel like it kind of reminds me of my um, Carolina Herrera blush, good girl blush, which is another favorite of mine. So I think this one is a little bit sweeter though. It doesn't smell anything like it, but it reminds me of it, if that makes sense. It's so pretty and florally and girly and just, mm, I don't know, girl, but yes, I did not know. Oh, it's called Florist. I don't, I don't think I told y'all the name of it, but Ellis Brooklyn Florist. So, ooh, I might put this on my thumbnail. Um, but yeah, had no idea that they came out with a new fragrance. And when I saw this, like when I opened the box, the box was pink. And I said, wait a minute, Ellis Brooklyn has a new fragrance? <laughs> opened it, sprayed it, fell in love. So. Yeah, we are done with like the makeup beauty type of situations. Now let's talk about a hair product I have been obsessed with, like obsessed. It's what I have in my hair right now. This stuff right here. It's the Yummy Professional, no, Gummy Professional Styling Wax. Girl, when I tell you I am not using any more of the Edge Booster, cause that's what I used to put in my hair to get it um, slicked back like this. The Edge Booster does not come close. It doesn't come anything close to this stuff right here. I can go outside in the heat and my hair will literally stay like this. Like sometimes when I go outside in the heat, when I'm wearing another edge control, frizz everywhere, frizzy, puffy. It just look nothing like this. And the hair is soft. Like the hair doesn't feel hard at all when I use this stuff. So I don't know what they put in it, but this has been the best stuff to use for me when I want to, you know, put my hair back like this. It's so, 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 so good. And it smells like berries. It smells really good. But look, girl, I'm gonna have to get some more. I already know it, but look how much I've used already. But yes, excuse me the best styling wax and it doesn't leave that white residue. You know, sometimes when you put on edge control, like over time it starts to get white. This does not, it doesn't. Um, okay, that is actually all the products I wanted to share with you guys as far as like my favorites and um, updates. What is that? Oh, um, but I do have a couple of products that I'm gonna be trying out this week simply because my period is coming in a couple of days and I just wanted to try out some new products um, to see if it you know keeps me comfortable during the week of my period so i discovered well i didn't discover this i saw cora had a um a body oil and i found it on the instagram explore page somebody posted about it and i was like wait a minute they have body oil and then i saw they have a body balm i already knew about their heat patches and their tampons and their pads but i had no idea that they had body oil so girl I went on Amazon. <laughs> I went on Amazon and I got the calming body oil. Let me let me open it for you. Okay, so this is the calming body oil. How cute is that? Adorable. And I got the uh, the period balm, which I think is going to be very similar to the um, the balm that I already use. I'll leave a little, either a screenshot or like a little clip right here and show you guys the one that I use. But I wanted something different, something new. So this is what it looks like. It is like the packaging is just too cute. Very cute. And it smells just like the balm that I already use. It kind of has that, um, that menthol minty scent, which I love. And I went ahead and got the, um, the heat relief patches. 
So I've been trying out the patches from Rail, Real, um, and I like them, but I wanted something different, you know, something different to try out. And I just went ahead and grabbed these, but I'm really excited about the body oil and the um the period bomb so the body oil is supposed to soothe comfort and support the period bomb is um is supposed to warm comfort and support so it's supposed to get oh i just spit everywhere so it's supposed to get really warm on the skin kind of like like i said the one that i've been using that one also gets warm on the skin a little bit so i'm assuming this is going to be just like it but this one's way cheaper than the other one that i use but yeah i just I just, you know, I just wanna try something new. And of course, I'll let you guys know how I feel about it, um, you know, once I start using it. And yeah, but I think that is it, girl. You know what, wait a minute, y'all. There's another thing I've been loving. Um, this is so random, but it's an app. It's called the Lemon 8 app, which came out earlier this year, but now it's like all the rave, y'all. If you like Pinterest, you are gonna be obsessed with this app. I love, <laughs> I love Pinterest and it's so much better than Pinterest though. Like it's, it's kind of like Pinterest and Instagram had a baby, but it's so like, ah, uh, uh, uh. you're gonna have to download it to see what I'm saying, but it's just so organized and everyone is so interactive on here and I'm just having so much fun on this app app but yeah it's called lemon eight so um and i do have a profile i'll go ahead and leave it um in the description for you guys but i've been loving it i have been loving it and i've been posting on it and it's just it's fun and aesthetically pleasing and i'm treating it like my digital diary like i just post random things on there whenever I feel like it in the moment. So um, yeah, that's definitely something else I've been loving for the month and I just had to share it with you guys. Yeah, that's actually it. That is everything I wanted to talk about and share with you in today's video. But thank you for hanging out with me while I shared all of these products. Let me know if you tried anything that I shared. Do you like it? Do you not like it? And I also wanna know what are your current favorites? Let's talk about it down there. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next